Welcome to our service for Easter 7, the Sunday after Ascension, the 24th of May. Go and make disciples of all nations, says the Lord, and remember, I am with you always to the end of the age. Alleluia. Christ has gone up on high. Alleluia. Blessed are you, sovereign God, reigning in glory. Cloud and deep darkness proclaim your holiness. Radiant light shows forth your truth. Jesus has entered the cloud of your presence. He has taken his seat at the right hand of majesty. Perfect sacrifice, he has put away sins. Merciful high priest, he pleads for our weakness. Always our brother, he prepares our place in heaven. Ruler of all, he establishes your reign dawning light for the righteous, hope of sinners. Blessed are you, sovereign God, high over all. Amen. God has gone up with a shout, the Lord with the sound of the trumpet. Clap your hands, all you peoples. Shout to God with a cry of joy, for the Lord most high is to be feared. He is the great King over all the earth. God has gone up with a shout, the Lord with the sound of the trumpet. He subdues the peoples under us and the nations under our feet. He chooses our inheritance for us, the pride of Jacob whom he loves. God has gone up with a shout, the Lord with the sound of the trumpet. God has gone up with a shout, the Lord with the sound of the ram's horn. Sing praises to God, sing praises. Sing praises to our King, sing praises. God has gone up with a shout, the Lord with the sound of the trumpet. For God is King of all the earth, sing praises with all your skill. God reigns over the nations, God sits upon his holy throne. God has gone up with a shout, the Lord with the sound of the trumpet. The nobles of the people have gathered together with the people of the God of Abraham. The rulers of the earth belong to God, and he is highly exalted. God has gone up with a shout, the Lord with the sound of the trumpet. Creator of rainbows, come through the closed doors of our homes, our hearts and our lives. Come alongside us as we walk. Come to us in our isolation and in our busyness. Come to us in our loneliness and our communities. Come, call us by name and lead us to you, the Ascended Lord. Amen. This Sunday's reading comes from the Gospel according to St John, chapter 17. After Jesus had finished speaking to his disciples, he looked up toward heaven and prayed. Father, the time has come for you to bring glory to your Son, in order that he may bring glory to you. And you gave him power over all people, so that he would give eternal life to everyone you give him. Eternal life is to know you, the only true God, and to know Jesus Christ, the one you sent. I have brought glory to you here on earth by doing everything you gave to me to do. Now, Father, Give me back the glory that I had with you before the world was created. You have given me some followers from this world, and I have shown them what you are like. They were yours, but you gave them to me, and they have obeyed you. They know that you gave me everything I have. I told my followers what you told me, and they accepted it. They know that I came from you, and they believe that you are the one who sent me. I am praying for them, but not for those who belong to this world. My followers belong to you, and I am praying for them. All that I have is yours, and all that you have is mine, and they will bring glory to me. Holy Father, I am no longer in the world, I am coming to you, but my followers are still in the world. So keep them safe by the power of the name that you have given me. Then they will be one with each other just as you and I are one. This is the Gospel of the Lord. On this, the Sunday after Ascension, we're remembering the Church 
And it was a church, a fledging church, after Jesus ascended into heaven. The thing that marked the disciples out in this period was that they spent their time in the temple praising and worshipping God. They weren't afraid and timid anymore, but they hadn't yet received the gift of the Holy Spirit. They were confident in their faith, confident in the promises of Jesus, and all they longed to do was to worship God. Of course, we don't know if they went to the temple together, whether they went in small groups or on their own. We can't go to the temple, we can't go to church at the moment, but we can still emulate those disciples. We can spend our days in praise and worship, giving thanks to God for all that is good in our lives. Praying for those that we wish could be better. Praying for healing and for comfort. And rejoicing that our God is a God who loves us and that his Son, now in his rightful place in heaven, pours blessing upon us every single day. As we wait in these next few days, they are the days of praying for the Holy Spirit, the longing for the coming of the Spirit upon the church. We join with those disciples. Please do spend some time praying for the gift of the Holy Spirit between now and next Sunday, which is Pentecost. Pray that God will pour his Spirit upon you upon his church and upon his world to bring healing, to bring peace, to bring love and the knowledge of his word in all places. He is Lord, he is Lord, he is risen from the dead and he is Lord. Every knee shall Let us pray together to our Heavenly Father, knowing his love for us. Father, we want to live your way and do your will, offer you true worship and serve one another in love. Empower your church to do this, we pray. Live in us, transform us. Lord, we wait on you. Fill us, Holy Spirit of God. Father, we want our states and kingdoms to display your love and truth, justice and mercy. We want to break down walls of prejudice and build bridges of reconciliation, love and trust. Empower your world, we pray. Live in us, transform us. Lord, we wait on you. Fill us. Holy Spirit of God. Father, we want our children to be safely and lovingly nurtured, our elderly valued, our homes to be places of welcome, warmth and safety. Empower your people, we pray. Live in us, 
transform us. Lord, we wait on you. Fill us, Holy Spirit of God. Father, we want your healing for those whose lives are aching and weary, your comfort and reassurance for all who are imprisoned by fears and hate, and healing for our world and all suffering from COVID-19. Empower our lives, we pray. Live in us and transform us. Lord, we wait on you. Fill us, Holy Spirit of God. Father, we want to commit our loved ones who have died into your safekeeping forever. Prepare us all, Father, to live with you in heaven. Lord, we wait on you. Fill us, Holy Spirit of God. Father, we want to worship and praise you with our voices and our lives. Shape us to your purpose and use us. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour Jesus Christ. Amen. Say together the words our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. This week's isolation blessing is from Pat and Richard Cole. We're enjoying the peace, the quiet, just not having the stress that we would have had with work and all those pressures. Now, I appreciate a lot of people who are working or living at home have all sorts of different pressures. But we live in a bubble here. We're very blessed in Rutland to live where we do, and we've enjoyed that. And although times are difficult, we know they will get better. There are better times ahead, and we're really looking forward to that. I've discovered the time factor um, has enabled me to get back into the garden, which I didn't realise was so badly neglected. And uh, now we're sort of getting there again. And um, the appreciation of all that and the serenity of Uppingham, really, it's been um, a revelation. And speaking to all sorts of different people that we bump into around town and having the time to do that, time for others. Yes. And time for ourselves. Yes. People who, who've lived here probably as long as we have, um, but we didn't know, and they didn't know us, and we realised we probably live just a few yards away from each other or just round the corner. Um, that's been lovely. Um, so making new acquaintances, friends. Neighbourliness. Neighbourliness, yes. Neighbourliness. <laughs> Is that a word? Now to him who is able to do immeasurably more than we can ask or conceive, by the power which is at work among us, to him be glory in the church and in Christ Jesus throughout all the ages. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be among you and all whom you love, now and always. Amen. <laughs>